found a vintage wool rug this weekend and I thought I'd show you how to clean it. Okay, here is a before video of this rug. You can kind of see the furniture probably set right here. So it's lighter there, which means all this is pretty dirty. And then you can see spots, especially right there. And over here is kind of orangish. So let's see if we can clean it. Start by beating the rug to release the dirt. To do this, take the rug outside, hang it on some furniture, and then hit it as hard as you can. And this releases the dirt from the surface so it can be vacuumed out. Next, spread the rug down outside, or you can even do this inside too. Go slow and vacuum the rug three to five times to remove as much dirt as possible. Then you're going to flip the rug and vacuum the back as well. When I emptied my vacuum canister after vacuuming, I was surprised at how much dirt I was able to remove, and this definitely will help it so I can get it cleaner later. And now spot clean the wool rug. If there are visible stains on the rug, I recommend using Flex to clean things up. It's just a really good stain remover. I use it on upholstery all the time and rugs. To use Flex, spray a generous amount on the spot, gently agitate it with your fingertips and blot with an absorbent cloth. This spot should be lighter or completely gone after treating it with Folex. This is also a good time to test your rug for bleeding. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a white cloth or a white paper towel and on a corner, um, look for the brightest colors. Spray down the white cloth with the cleaning solution and then you're gonna push your cloth down onto that spot for 10 seconds as firmly as you can and then pull up the rug and or pull up the cloth and see if there's any color left behind if the rug bleeds do not continue with the cleaning this will mean the rug you'll ruin the rug because we're going to do a lot of water with it and so you'll want to use a dry cleaning option instead so if the rug doesn't bleed continue with the next step once the rug has been spot cleaned, move on to mixing a cleaning solution for the whole rug. For this, fill a bucket with water and soap. You're going to use cold water. Um, mix two tablespoons of wool cleaner. I'm just using this because I had it on hand and four cups of water. Um, if you're also looking for a specific wool cleaner, you can use wool light. Other cleaning options that'll work for wool rugs or really any vintage rugs are dish soap. So you want to make sure to use dish soap that hasn't been dyed. Um, it needs to be clear and then that will make it so you don't dye the wool on your rug. Or you could use vinegar, which is a great option since most people have that on hand. It's really gentle and works nice on wool, so it helps with pet odors, dirt, oil, and food stains too. So vinegar is a great choice. Okay, I've just mixed three capfuls full of this wool and cashmere shampoo with water. My rug is 100% wool, so I'm using this. Next, you're gonna scrub the rug with the mixture, and I know this is a little scary because you're probably wondering, can I use water to clean a wool rug? And the answer is yes. Water is actually the best way to cool, clean a wool rug. Just make sure the rug is completely dry of all excess moisture within 24 hours and it'll be fine. Water is gonna help you eliminate odors, dirt, and stains, so it's really important to use the water to clean. So do take your soap and your water mixture outside and scrub it into the rug. Dip the scrubber in the cleaning bucket and then scrub one section. Repeat and make sure to go over the whole rug. This step needs a lot of elbow grease, so work from one side to the other and make sure everything is really scrubbed down. I like to use a scrub brush for this step. Another gentler option is to use a sponge and that's a great alter alternate if you have fragile rugs. Next, rinse the rug off with water. Use cold water from the hose and try to remove all the soap that's on the rug. Try to use as little water as possible to get all the soap out of the rug. And if you're wondering if you can pressure wash a rug, no, that'll be too strong and it could ruin the rug. So just stick to a hose. Okay, these are literally so wet, just like sopping with water. If you had a big squeegee right now would be the time to use it. I do not, so I'm gonna try my carpet cleaner, but just use it to suck out the water. So now the rug is clean, so we got to try to get all that water out of it. I am using my upholstery cleaner, and honestly, I should have used the attachment that um, is for upholstery instead of like the rug part, just because this is a little bit harsh. Um, like I said, you could also use a big squeegee. If you don't have either of those, you can use towels to kind of blot the water, and that'll be the gentlest option and also probably the free option for most people. So I have tried to dry this. Sorry, I have a chicken over here. I hope she doesn't come on here and poop. I've tried to dry this as best as I could. Now I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours and tomorrow we'll flip it and hopefully it'll be dry after that. Now that the rug is clean, I have it on top of my table and a chair to dry to get air circulating through it so it can dry. I think it'll at least take 24 hours to dry um, and that's on like a nice warm sunny day. 
Okay, here is this rug all finished. It finally dried and it's looking really good. There were some stains that had a hard time coming out, but um, they were over here and they really blended nicely now before they were very obvious. So it feels clean. This is going in my son's playhouse and it feels good enough for him to play on. You know how kids are always on the floor. So it smells better. It looks much better. The finish is a lot more even. Like there used to be like a section here where you could tell a sofa was on it or something. Anyway, I feel like it's looking good and I'm gonna put it in. Okay, the rug is in place. This is in my son's playhouse in his little school room. It looks really cute. It's perfect. And like I said, clean enough to now play on. It's clean enough to be in a house too, so that's good. So now you know how to clean a wool rug or any vintage rug. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.